All right, this example looks like we have the same reaction as the first example, but our given pressures are different. Once again, we are given Kp instead of Kc because we have measured pressures instead of molar concentrations, okay? So um, we are going to find the reaction quotient for each of these reaction vessels and compare it to the given Kp and determine uh, which way the reaction is going to be favored towards the products or towards the reactants. So uh, our reaction is hydrogen gas, so hydrogen gas yields two moles of HI. It is balanced like that. So let's go double back and check. I have not put the states of matter, but you know that this is a homogeneous equilibrium. equilibrium. There, These are all gases. All right, and Kp is 0 0.84, all right? So now, let's determine the reaction quotient for A, B, and C. I do give a little bit more background and talk in the previous example, so go back and watch that one if you want a little bit more of the background. All right, so we're going to find the reaction quotient for this first reaction vessel. We're going to take the partial pressure of H2 in this A reaction vessel, which is 2.82. So 2.82 squared, following the equilibrium constant expression here, which is Kp is equal to uh, the partial pressure of Hi squared divided by the partial pressure of H2 times the partial pressure of I2. So the partial pressure of H2 is 2.82 and 3.91 for I2. So 2.82 times 3.91. And so what I get for a reaction quotient here is hit 0 0.721, which is less than, so 0 0.721 is less than the Kp of uh, 0 0.84. So that means that this reaction uh, is going to be favored to the right to produce more product than reactants are formed. So uh, if I go back here, because products are favored, what's my product? Hydrogen iodide. I should expect an increase in pressure of that and a decrease in the pressure of my reactants. Why again? Because reaction quotient Q was less than Kp following this table. Two little products, products are favored. And this, the partial pressure of the products increases more than this, increases as this uh, uh, decreases, and this value will increase as well until it hits the Kp and equilibrium will be established. So let's look at B. So this one was products, product formation, favorite. For B, the concentration of our product is 4.1. Well, I, sh I should say partial pressure. It's measured here in ATMs, not molar concentration. H2 is 3.01 and I2 is 4.1. Let's double check that, okay. So let's see what we get for Q here. For Q here, I get 1.362. And in this case, Q or 1.362, the reaction quotient, which is equal to this squared divided by this, is larger than the equilibrium constant for this reaction at this temperature, which is 0 0.84. So what that means is that the formation of reactants, so reactant formation is favored. And the reaction will be going more in that direction than the opposite direction. 
So that means we should see an, inc a, a, an increase in the pressures of our reactants and a decrease in the pressure of our product here because the reverse reaction is going to be favored. So what we'll have is a decrease here and an increase here. Now let's check C. Let's find the reaction quotient for reaction vessel C. Concentration of HI is 2.51. 2.51 squared divided by 3.8 times 4.89. 3.8 times 4.89. And what do we get? In this case, we get 0 0.34. And so here, again, I see that Q, or 0 0.34, is less than 0 0.84. And so product formation is favored in this reaction vessel, just like it was in A. So we should see an increase here and a decrease here.